Today we are looking at the new Core SWX Neo 150 battery and their new GPX2 mini charger. The Cinema 5D Virtual Show is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. SERP, better films. And Tilta, arm your camera. Welcome everybody to our Cinema 5D virtual show, our virtual replacement for the NAB 2020 that never happened. I'm on the video call right now with Zach from Core SWX. How are you, Zach? Pretty good, how are you doing? I'm catching you in LA, it's very early for you, so thanks for getting up early for me. Sure, not a problem at all. Today we're gonna to talk about the uh, new NEO 150 battery that you guys thankfully already sent us to review and also a new charger. I forgot the name again. So what is it? <laughs> sure, it's the GPX2 Mini. Cool, so, so what's, what's new about, uh, about this battery? Let's get started with the battery. Cool, yeah, so the NEO 150 is our new uh, 147 watt hour pack. Uh, it's a super compact and rugged pack that's designed to be used with uh, cinema cameras, broadcast cameras, you name it. Um, it's mini form factor is actually perfect for cameras like RED, um, cameras available from Sony, Canon, Air, you name it. Um, it has a, a 12 amp continuous discharge capability, so it's very robust. It's perfect for power hungry cameras uh, and for applications that call for long run times. Uh, it also has a, a very beautiful high resolution LCD display to give you battery percentage uh, and also runtime information. When you have it on the charger, it'll actually give you charge, uh, remaining charge time info as well. Um, and what we've done with these packs is we built in an RFID and the RFID allows you to extract all the battery data, uh, the serial number, cycle counts, manufacture date um, with your smartphone or tablet. Uh, we're working on an application uh, that will be available through the iOS and Android stores. Oh, wow. So that so, means you can practically yeah. see how your camera is charged on your phone? You would have to actually uh, take your phone and almost physically touch the 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 battery itself. Um, it has a it, it's, it's called a near field communication reader uh, that's required to read the RFIDs. Um, if you want, if you wanted to monitor your battery runtime from uh, let's say a little further away, we do have a Bluetooth called the Volt Bridge uh, that allows you to do that, and it's basically a Bluetooth module that's built into the battery plate and that'll transmit the information to your smart uh, smartphone. And the battery also I see comes with a USB and D-Tab of course? Yes, it sure does. So perfect for powering your uh, tablets, your phones on the USB and any kind of um, accessory uh, from the uh, power tap. Yeah, I have to say it's pretty small. I mean, I've had a, I've used a lot of 150 uh, watt hour batteries and they're usually a bit more blocky than that. And actually it's, it fits nicely. Yeah. Um, to most cameras now that not because they're not as high anymore so it's kind of yeah, nice to have absolutely. it in the line yeah yeah and um it'll give you compared to like let's say a 98 watt hour pack it'll give you 50 percent more runtime with only about 20 percent thicker uh compared to our uh, neo 9 battery pack so very similar size but with a lot more punch to it Although we should add, and I mean, right now it's not as relevant, but uh, there are limitations to what we can fly with in terms of batteries. Correct, yes. So it's, I think, uh, 100 watt hours is the limit, right? Correct. Um, and these laws are constantly changing, so we always need to kind of keep our finger on the pulse there. But uh, as of now, you can carry up to 15 um, 100 watt hours or less batteries. Um, and then when it comes to battery packs that are over 100 watt hours, well, between 100 and 160 watt hours, uh, you're allowed up to three. And one has to be on your device and two spares. And that's per person. So let's say if you have a crew of two people, you could technically carry up to six battery packs um, with you on an aircraft. But it has to all be carry on and none of it check in. I'm not sure. I think that is only a US regulation, though. I think it's different in Europe. So. <laughs> It is a little different uh, depending on where you are and some airlines will have their own regulations that are a little bit more stringent. So it's always good to check with the airliner before traveling with gear because um, you never know. They might have stricter rules than some other companies do. So anything else to add about the battery? We're only showing the V mount here, but we also have this available in gold mount. 
uh, which is compatible with all the gold mount chargers out there. You know, our batteries are compatible, reverse compatible with virtually every brand. Um, you know, we're kind of known for being the, the brand that's compatible with everybody. Pricing and availability of these. Uh, pricing is coming in at 485, uh, and we just started shipping this week, so they are available. Uh, and one thing that I also wanted to mention is um, the, the warranty. So you get a 2000 cycle uh, plus two year warranty on this, so uh, whichever comes first, uh, but it's the best in the industry. Let's move on to the charger then. Uh, so this is the uh, GPX2 Mini. Um, it's the latest two channel charger that we're offering. Uh, it's a, a simultaneous, so it'll charge two batteries at the same time. When you have two batteries on here, you're getting one and a half amps per, uh, per channel. If you only charge one battery, you get uh, three amps per channel, so a slightly faster, actually double the speed um, on charge time for that. Very compact, super lightweight. It's perfect for traveling, um, and it fits very well with the 150. You know, size-wise, it's very close, so. Very cool. Do you have adapters to use it, like to charge it with from a car and stuff like that? Uh, we don't have a car adapter, but that is something that we could definitely look into. Not sure if you mentioned it, but I guess it's also available for V mounts and gold mount. Correct. Yes, it is available for V mount and gold mount. Finally, pricing and availability on this one. Sure. Uh, pricing on this one is 250 US dollars and it's uh, available. It's shipping now. Thank you, Sec. Um, that All right. was quite comprehensive. Thanks, it's not a complex product, but it's always good to have reliable batteries. And uh, Absolutely. yeah, best of luck to LA. All right. Thanks, Nino. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching, right. everybody. Stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more news from the virtual show, our replacement for NAB. That never happened. Uh, we'll be posting new videos almost every day, uh, both discussions with filmmakers, but also uh, other videos about new gear. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.